when I think about skills for visual arts, I typically think about three areas. I think about technical skills, and those are the sort of um, the skills that everybody gets jealous of. You know, so you have that one kid that, can that basically walk into a classroom and just draw perfectly your portrait. So it'd be the hand-eye coordination, being able to accurately see proportion, those kinds of skills, right? Um, seeing color, being able to pick up on texture, and being able to translate that. So that's technical. Creative skills are really different, and it's funny because when kids come in grade nine, they don't they don't put much emphasis on creative skills at all. They are just wowed by the kid that can accurately duplicate your image like a photocopier. Um, and they really don't care that they're copying something else, right? Um, copying to them is okay. So it's really, that's a really hard one to teach. Creative skills is incredibly hard to teach. The last one is analysis, right? So. Uh, can you actually look at a piece of work, including your own work, and actually interpret meaning um, about the work or the artist or the community that that person came from or the time period that they came from? So can you almost look at it like a little mystery and pick it apart and figure out what that, that artwork is all about? So those are the three areas that we see um, and we deal with that every single year as we go through um, but it gets different as we go along and probably there's more emphasis on creativity by grade 12 because I give a lot more freedom in grade 12. In the grade 9 program we start off by like uh, um, very basic things. They have a taste of all the different art forms, um, including uh, drawing, painting, sculpture. So we just give them a little try of everything. And I'm not uh, I, I'm not incredibly picky about you know, the things that come out. I just want them actually trying things out. And usually by grade 10, um, those kids that decide that they, they really don't like getting their hands into artwork and doing things like that um, have gone off somewhere else. They've already got their credits. So by grade 10, I usually have those kids that do have some technical uh, ability and want to improve upon their skills. As you go along, I, um, I'm hoping by grade 12 that you can interpret a lot more into these things and maybe uh, get other people to see things in a completely new and innovative way, right? Uh, see new beauty or new meaning um, in your own artwork or somebody else's. So. The death of creativity in an artist is basically being having a boring life, right, and uh, not experiencing much. And these kids um, just basically have uh, such a variety of, of different backgrounds and cultures and experiences that their artwork necessarily has to be interesting and original and unique, um, and as a result, very, very strong.